Thailand has extended a state of emergency to the end of next month to control its COVID-19 outbreak. The Thai cabinet approved the one-month extension despite going three months without a local transmission. And the country has been under a state of emergency since late March, which gives the government powers to act quickly during a crisis. But critics say the extension is a move to quell the spread of anti-government protests. The search for survivors continues in India more than a day after the collapse of an apartment building near Mumbai. Local media say at least 13 people have died and several others are feared trapped under the rubble. More than 75 people have been rescued from the rubble, including a young child. The five-story building in the industrial town of Mahad caved in yesterday evening, burying residents. The cause of the collapse is unclear. A second night of clashes in the U.S. state of Wisconsin as protesters defied a curfew to protest the police shooting of another black man. Arsonists set buildings on fire and torched the business district not far from where Jacob Blake was shot seven times by police officers while his three young kids looked on. Blake survived the shooting as and is in stable condition following surgery. A coronavirus vaccine being developed by the University of Oxford could go to regulators this year. That's if scientists manage to gather enough data. But they say they will not cut corners to speed up approval for emergency use. Considered a front runner in the race for a COVID-19 vaccine, the Oxford candidate has shown early promise. About 50,000 people are taking part in late stage clinical trials. Looks like COVID-19 has caught up with the world's fastest man. Sprint legend Hussein Bolt is self-isolating at home in Jamaica after taking a coronavirus test. He did not reveal the result, but local media say he's tested positive. And this comes days after Bolt celebrated his 34th birthday with a big bash. Police are investigating the party as many were seen without masks.